Marriage is a union between two people. Two people who love each other many a times end up getting married. But hey, marriage is a very serious thing. It's a covenant relationship. It's a mystery. Proverbs chapter 30 verse 18 says, There be three things which are too wonderful for me, and here are four which I know not. The way of an eagle in the air, the way of a serpent upon a rock, the way of a sheep in the midst of the sea, and the way of a man with a maid. Though love has very little to do with a successful marriage, it is a very important ingredient in marriage. People who are married always start from the in love stage and gradually move on to other stages of their marriage. Sometimes you're just gonna feel like you don't just love the person anymore. Situations may arise that you realize that at the moment you hate or maybe dislike your partner. This is absolutely normal. Love is not a feeling but a decision. So when you are at a point where you don't love your partner, it is not time for you to quit the marriage. It's time for you to meditate on your vows. Think of what you said before God and man. Think of the promises that you made. Do you remember saying for better or for worse? Maybe this is your worst moment, so don't quit. Don't give up on the covenant. It's not time for you to go and start seeing someone else. I guess what I'm trying to say is that it's absolutely normal to fall out of the feeling of love with your spouse. But it's not normal for you to give up on your relationship just because of that. Because love is a choice. You can make the decision to stay and work things out and someday the feeling is gonna come back since they're triggered by happenings or situations or things. People fall out of love in relationships and marriages for several reasons amongst which are number one, infidelity and a couple of others like less sex in a marriage, parental lack of care and attention and so many others. Falling out of love can be a very, very scary feeling. It might feel like having noticeably less interest in your partner and feeling less excited about spending time with them, even though you still care about them. That might sound like it means you're not with the right person or like your relationship is going downhill. Do not fall out of love at the same time. I mean, do not that the both of you, husband and wife, fall out of love at the same time. Love sustains relationship. It's not good for the relationship of both of you to fall out of love at the same exact time. At least when one person has fallen out of love, let the other person be there, strong enough to fight for the relationship. This is because when you've fallen out of love, you become really negligent of the things that matter in your relationship. A man who always bought flowers for his wife when coming back from work, if he falls out of love, he would stop bringing them. He would no longer pay attention. He would no longer see the need to bring her flowers. And that will strain the relationship, but if she still loves him, she's gonna fight for him. She would be willing to do anything to get back his attention. She will do everything within her power to make him feel loved and come back to his senses but if she too has fallen out of love with him, then no one is going to be fighting for the relationship. Both of them will be negligent, both of them will not care about how the other person is feeling, and none of them will see a reason to fight for the marriage. And it can really end up badly, as bad as divorce. As humans, we are designed to fall in and out of love. It's normal for us to fall out of love, but if the relationship is healthy, and both partners understand the true meaning of love and what it's all about, they will be patient enough to fall back in love, and most times even deeper in love. How then do we know that we are falling out of love with our partner? Firstly, the person that at some point in your life you couldn't spend a day without seeing, you missed him or her always when they were away, and now you would rather just be alone than be with them. You were thinking about them less and less and you were becoming easily annoyed by them. You were no longer having meaningful conversations together. Your discussions are becoming so shallow and so short now. 
You spend less time together doing shared activities or talking about shared interests. There is little or no show of affection to your partner. Now here's a question. Is it possible to fall back in love? Absolutely! As mentioned before, it's completely normal to fall out of love and it can be worked on, but it will take time and effort from both spouses. If both of you realize that you have fallen out of love with each other, you will both need to make a decision. Ask yourselves, do you want to stay together? Do you want to fix this? Is this relationship worth fighting for? Is this just a phase in your marriage that you are supposed to overcome together? If your answers to these questions are yes, then you both would have to really, really work hard at making it work. You would both need to pay more attention, to be more conscious of your partner's feelings and to work on your mode of communication. Prioritize your partner. Look for new shared interests, things that will make the both of you spend more time together. Break old habits. Be willing to do whatever it takes to fall back in love. Be intentional about your partner and about your relationship. Start doing things that you were doing before that you might have stopped doing. The Bible says that the heart of kings are in the hands of God. So pray to God about your relationship. Ask him to help you restore love to your marriage. If the both of you have fallen out of love with each other, take time to pray and fast about it. Make intentional efforts to fix this. In 1 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 7, we see that love is never tired of waiting. Love is kind. Love has no envy. Love has no high opinion of itself. Love has no pride. Love's ways are ever fair. It takes no thought of itself. It's not quickly made angry. It takes no account of evil. It takes no pleasure in wrongdoing, but has joy in what is true. Love has the power of undergoing all things, of having faith in all things, of hoping all things. So while you are trying to make your marriage work, while you are walking and falling back in love with your spouse, it's important to pray that God makes you all of what he says in 1 Corinthians chapter 13 from verse 4 to 7. Pray that he should help you not to be self-centered. Pray that he should help you to make your marriage an example for others. Let this phase of trial not be the end of your marriage. Pray for God's hope while also intentionally working together to make things better. May God Almighty give you strength.